Welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of Plane Savers! Here we are folks, the end of the line. DTD is now in her new home here in Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. Oh, we got Joe showing up. Stella putting on the pedo covers. I uh, just want to give you guys an update how we went. Um, total time put on the aircraft since its very first flight, including the test flight the, on June 6th, is 17.7 hours. So that is uh, pretty good. Uh, averaged 88 gallons an hour fuel burn. Uh, total time, 43,420.9. Yes, folks, this is a very high time DC-3, uh, but she flew very, very well. Couldn't be more proud of her. Uh, the, the two snags we have right now uh, are, is the number two engine has an oil leak, as you can see, the gear is fairly oily. Um, Stella wiped it all down, but you can see after a quick engine run, there's some oil coming down here. Uh, very likely, it is going to be um, <clears throat> a pushrod tube. Uh, most likely, I'd say probably a pushrod tube or um, rocker cover. So the number one engine here, if you remember, it had a rocker cover leak on the outboard side. On the inboard side, something I could see, I don't know if you can pick it up, you see there's a little bit of discoloration right there. That is fuel, and it's coming from uh, that intake pipe right here that I could see from the flight itself. Uh, so a little bit of a fuel leak. Uh, I would say maybe a, a four out of 10 oil leak on this side. Uh, and that's, that's really it, folks. So I had a 17.7 hours. Uh, we did do a carb change on, uh, the number two engine um but that was just a preventative maintenance thing uh the carb is not us it'll just be fixed and that's it she did really 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 well and i just want to take this time to thank everybody everybody that we ran into at oshkosh it was absolutely amazing and the funny part is yeah, here in, in red deer or even uh regina and some other places we ran into people that had never heard of the D of our project of plane savers or anything and try to explain it to somebody i bet you a lot of the hardcore viewers have done that try to explain this like buying it off ebay creating a youtube show you know having zero paperwork getting that done you know 56 days on the project the school uncle ronnie stuka the dog stella myself all the volunteers bobby uh, William and Benjamin, everybody. Uh, none of it makes any sense, folks. So this is it. Uh, I want to tell you that uh, 
it's not over for DTD. Uh, then one of the big questions I get is, what's next for the aircraft? And uh, I don't have really anything besides one last major mission. This is the first time I'm mentioning this. We got one more mission before she goes home for the winter, but we'll be getting to that later because another question I get asked quite a bit is what is next? Okay, we are back in Red Deer area, uh, entering Area 51 there, Stella. Uh, we just finished uh, filming the end of episode zero. We got to Crate, and uh, the big question is, I haven't seen the aircraft yet. Uh, I've been planning this aircraft for over two years, and I still haven't seen it. Uh, again, big thanks to Craig Brookhouse and Spaghetti Don for taking care of this uh, fine airplane for us. And Stella, should we uh, cut it open, see what we got? got my fancy knife here. <laughs> So now I'm gonna try opening it without hurting the plane. We don't want that. That's a night notebook. Probably cut down. Yeah, I should probably cut from this way. I'm scared, I don't see what's behind me. No, you'll be Let fine. Let me go this way. Okay, but before we find out what's in the box, uh, we gotta go back in time and figure out how the box got here. Hey Mikey, it's Beardy Dawn. Well, you already knew that. So this here is my hangar, appropriately named. And you have the have my Buffalo Airways sticker there. Totally made out of 100% pallets. Picked up some old windows, added some plates, and uh, just one other little thing I want to show you is my Buffalo Airways boat. Everything Buffalo for me, buddy. Okay, so if you've seen episode zero, uh, you learned that uh, we got this uh, aircraft uh, and it's been stored here in Ontario. And Spaghetti Don uh, is being awesome. He's going to drive it all the way to Red Deer, Alberta, which is going to be one heck of a drive. 3,300 kilometers, which is almost exactly 2,000 miles. But lucky Don and his wife are going to make a vacation out of it. And along the way, you can see that they've came across a couple, few aviation adventures uh, that they'd like to share with us. Uh, so let's check it out. We're in Holly Lake, northern Ontario, just enjoying the day. Doing a little bit of fishing and watching the, uh, watching the boat plane come in. What else could you ask for? Hey Mikey, we made it to Thunder Bay. It's Tammy and I. And we just uh, pulled into the, uh, the Thunder Bay Aviation. And there's our good buddy Jason. Let us in the gate to uh, to show us DTD. There she is, the famous DTD. I heard that you had a good uh, good show. Yeah, it was a really good. Show. The uh, World War II. Though those airplanes were never envisioned when they were off the production line. And 75 years later, we would still be able to fly them. And just very nice that it's here in Thunder Bay that people can come and see and catch a little bit of aviation history before the airplane departs. The plane takes off for Oshkosh, Wisconsin, later this month. We just wanted to come by and uh, make sure that uh, we had them both together at least once. And, uh, you know, we get to see DTD when she's finished. And then whatever this is, which is top secret, can't say, we see it in the beginning stages. We have to hit the road. We uh, got a long drive today. So anyway, nice talking to everybody. Have a great day. There we go. So I'd like to take this time to thank uh, Spaghetti Don and his wife Tammy for driving this beautiful piece of aviation history all the way back to Red Deer where we can start. And let's see what's uh, inside the box. Oh. Geez, spaghetti, you should have put the green on the other side. <laughs> okay, Stella, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Look at that. Look at that, folks. There is not too much left. Uh, we got a tire in there. A whole bunch of little teeny weeny pieces. I think so. Oh, yeah, we can do it. So we have no engine, no wings, but we get Germans. no interior. Stella found some German. What does it say, Stella? It says 
Nutzlast Gesamtgewicht 571. And now uh, I want to see in the comments below what that means. Nutzlast and Gesamtgewicht. Uh, by the way, written wrong with a Z instead of an S. Unfortunate. <laughs> sure that's wrong? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Uh oh, you know, if you say something's wrong on the internet, they're gonna correct you. Maybe in my now Canadian mind, I, I don't get it right anymore, but I am, let's say, 99% sure that you write that differently. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Look who's here. He's right there. Dad? You want to go look at the triplane for the first time? Do I get a choice? <laughs> no. <laughs> On the way here, what do we got behind you here? What's this? Well, it's a 54 Nash. Where else can you get a four-door tractor on there like this? Hay River uh, fire truck? Yeah. As, yeah. Well, as you should? Yeah. What the heck is this thing? That's a... Uh, Flathead powered welding unit. It's Second World War vintage. We picked it up up on Great Bear Lake. And of course the 34 Ford, a replica of Bonnie and Clyde. There, you can drive that same time you drive your camel. What do you think of that? 34 Ford. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh. Well, you can give it a 40 inch stretch and put two people in it. So, what do you think? You think it's possible? Oh, yeah. If you lead the trip, Mikey, it shall be possible. So, there you go, folks. Place your bets. Do you think we can get this flying by March? Uh, again, no engine, no wings. Uh, this, it, it, all the wings are wood, so we're gonna hand build the wings. All the metal stuff survived the incident, and here it goes. Here is the aircraft. I'm pretty what excited. Is this a jig for it, a wing? Oh yeah, so that's a wing jig. I have no clue how it works, uh, but yes, we'll see. This is a wing jig. We got a spare spun cowling on there. Whole bunch of stuffs. So. Benjamin is hard at work building the the jig for the the ribs inside ribs. I think there's 46 ribs uh, So Benjamin has been working really hard behind the scenes and Let's go check out and see what him and Bobby have been up to check this out Here we are The Aviation Museum in Ottawa There he is He's taking measurements for the secret project soon to be revealed Hey, Benjamin. Yes. Ooh. That's not the right airplane. No, I know. <laughs> Ours has three, three wings. Three wings, but... So what are, you, what are you doing? I was counting the amount of ribs. Counting the amount of ribs. On each side. For an airplane comparing. we're not building, we're building something else, right? I'm comparing. Okay. It's going to be uh, pretty similar though, right? Same technology, World yeah. War One. We'll see. We'll see how much trouble we get into this time. Bye for now. <laughs> So a big thank you to Benjamin and Bobby who've been working behind the scenes. You know, this has been a really, really cool project. And we've been working on a lot of, a lot of this stuff was going on while we were doing DTD. And I was kept at a surprise. Hid some Easter eggs in there for you guys to maybe have figured it out. Uh, but the, if you're being a diehard Buffalo fan before the Plane Savers, you know that we've required this aircraft. And I'm going to get to more of that later on 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 how we ended up with the airplane uh, in another episode. So thank you for joining us. I gotta get back to Yellowknife. We gotta get this plane to Yellowknife and we gotta work it. We gotta get working. Uh, so in next episode, I'm gonna show you the shop and show you how we're gonna get it all going, make a plan and uh, let's talk to Chuck and see what we can get going. So thank you for joining us. Be safe and we'll see you soon. Bye. I'm gonna put my faith into whoever painted that aircraft. That is not a typo. Stella is saying that it's a typo and she's German. We're gonna put a bet on that. There you go. My faith. But I get, why would I be betting against a German? Anyway, we'll figure it out. <laughs>